because it'll break loose from the ground. So I don't disturb the rest of it. Hey y'all, Vince Gray is here, North Mississippi, Windmill Farms. As you can see, if you're watching out through there, we're doing some more picking today, people. Um, the mushrooms with all the water and stuff we've gotten in the last day or two, and this high humidity is making these things just, I mean, explode right now. These are a type of edible mushroom. And kind of like I told you on my other video for chanterelle, if I'm saying it wrong, I'm just saying it wrong. And what you can't see is I'm leaving a bunch of little bitty ones in there. I'm not harvesting, I'm just harvesting the big one. Like I said, y'all, uh, before, this is just the fruit, okay? This isn't really the plant, this is the fruit. The actual plant grows in the ground, right underneath the leaf cover, right underneath the grass. The mycenaeum does, grows down through there. This is just like you picking a pear off a pear tree or an apple off an apple tree. This is just pulling the fruit that's there, okay? Uh, but bolets, like I said, don't know if I'm saying it correctly. I've never had an actual true education. I just know what I've been taught over the years. And uh, we're a bunch of old country folk down here, so I might be saying it wrong, but I've always called them bolet, bolet. Um, so, but you can tell with them, They've got this big top, flat top, that's colored. They got a cream color, but notice this big, fat stalk up underneath. That is uh, that is reminiscent of this breed. But as you see right here, look size some of these. My hand can't cover that thing. Uh, I've already got, I don't even know how many pounds I got here. I'm gonna have to get some more because if y'all don't notice, I've got them here. And then if the light can hit it just right, I've got several across the road right there. And what that tells me is, is I got a mycem that's actually under the trail there and comes up over there. That's the reason why if you ever see them old white mushrooms come up in your yard, you get one and then you get a ring of them around it. That mycem's reaching out and that, that's where it's going to, right? So let me find somewhere to put these and we're going to continue harvesting here in a minute, all right? So y'all come with us as always. It's an adventure. All right, y'all, I was gonna show you how big this basket is. That's my hand. I, mean, I can't even, I barely reach from bottom top. It goes all the way up here to the top. And there's a trash bag full there, okay? And that was just, I don't know. What would you say, baby? 10 minutes, 15 minutes of picking at most, at most? Yeah. So it was another good day. Hey y'all, um, when you're collecting your bullets here in North Mississippi, we have three things that look identical. Two are bullets, and uh, one is a non bullet. Okay, let me show you if you can pull in here tight. See how I'm cutting the cap? Now, y'all mind, this is not one I'm going to keep. This is reading it's kind of infested. This is not what you want to see. But notice how when I cut, it did not automatically start turning blue. The ones that are around this part of the area that are poisonous to the point of making you sick will have blue that starts like, almost like you put blue um, food dye in there. It will start coming up. Now here's the other kicker. Notice nothing happened. Well, there's a bolet that grows here that looks like the ones that you can eat, but it's bitter. Now, the way you figure that out is you taste test it. You open it up, okay? Now. Okay, notice that that was on my tongue. Had that been the bolet that you is edible, but it's bitter, I wouldn't have been able. So as bitter as a green persimmon, kind of like it will get your attention, okay? But since that actually didn't taste bitter, this is one of the ones that you can actually eat. Now, mind you, this is worm infested and everything else. But what you want to do is you always want to cut it in half. And this is what you don't want to see, okay? See how this has all been ravaged with worms? See them right there. There's one of them right there. I don't know if the camera can pick up on it or not, but that's one eating away right there. Okay. That's what you don't want to see. If you cut your bullets open and they look like this, throw them away. They're not worth eating, okay? Sometimes if there's just a little bit of damage down here at the bottom, you can cut that off 
and keep on going and, and do what you need to. But in this particular case, this whole bowl, that's no good. We're going to throw it away. All right. So that's just a quick way of knowing which of the three here around here that I have in North Mississippi. Now, I'm not saying this is the way it's going to be in your part of the country. Um, you need to get with someone who collects mushrooms on a regular basis and find out how many different varieties you have. I know out west, the bullets have a tendency to get a stock on them that's unbelievable here. Our stocks will get probably this big at, big, at the biggest. But out west, they have stocks that literally you can't get your fingers around. Uh, so just uh, get with someone who knows what they're doing in the area if you're not sure yourself. And then that way you're not going to have something that's going to make you sick on down the road. All right? That's just another quick tip while we're collecting the bullets. Hey y'all, um, as y'all see, we uh, did a pretty good uh, collection of the bolets today. Um, there's several, several varieties. Uh, a lot of folks call them porcinis. Uh, I was taught originally they're called bolets. It wasn't until later on that I realized that they're actually called a porcini. Um, but anyway, uh, glad y'all come along with us and uh, while we collected some. Um, as y'all see, they can get big and they can get wonderful and they're good to eat. Um, you can actually grill them up. There's all kind of recipes you can do with them. So, but anyway, um, glad y'all come with us. Maybe next time when we go uh, mushroom hunting, we'll uh, bring you along once again. Uh, I know I've got a turkey tail here in the woods and I also have a um, old man of the woods. That's the four varieties that I pick on a somewhat decent basis we have no lion's mane here we have none of the other stuff there's a few morels in the area they're few and far between um there's a couple other mushrooms that like there's this white not white more like gray funnel and i've looked it up but i'm not to the point of being sure of it yet uh and i can't get the university of mississippi to call me back on that um, when they call me back and let me know what's going on with it, I'll let you know, and maybe we'll have five varieties of mushrooms that we pick on a regular basis. So, um, I did have another variety of, uh, Amanita that I actually stumbled upon. I'll put a picture, um, behind this explanation of it. It's a pretty looking mushroom. It really is. Um, but with it being red, I figured it was going to be poisonous and come to find out, I was told it was one of the most um delicious wild mushrooms you can collect so i was kind of unique in that i've got a fifth one but it's it and only a couple more was all that was there there wasn't a whole bunch of them there so it's not like i had a field like i did with the bolets or i've got several different places i can go collect like i do with the uh with the uh chanterelles uh so Anyway, I'm glad that y'all come along. I hope y'all learned something. If y'all got a comment for me or you got a question for me, please put it in the comments below. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you got a friend or somebody who you think could get some uh, knowledge from this video, please pass it on and share it with them. And if you don't mind, hit that bell if you want to every time I put out a video to get notified. Um, look, we had another blessed day here on the farm and windmill uh, farm here in north mississippi and uh once again we're gonna tell y'all be safe